Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Transformers Prime inspired Deluxe Class RC. Undoubtedly the figure that I was the most looking forward to out of the first wave and suffice to say probably the one that took me the most by surprise. I personally was expecting a true to form version of TF Prime RC but as it stands Hasbro have gave her what they're calling her universe look and the same will also apply for some of the future Transformers Prime inspired characters. Essentially they're going to take the TF Prime designs and put them in the G1 aesthetic. So basically how the TF Prime designs would have looked had they been in G1 and to be honest I actually think it's a pretty cool concept whether or not it resonates well here with RC we'll touch base within just a second but I do know their upcoming bulkhead looks really promising and some of the concepts I've been shown for knockout actually look pretty cool but getting stuck straight here into RC herself you can see that in regards to the design personally I really do find it just to be the color scheme as well as the head sculpt of which pays vague homage to that actual prime design you can see that in regards to the sculpt work of the face is very simplistic but actually not looking too bad at all you can see we've got some lovely metallic pink highlights there for the crest section once again taken straight from that prime design we do in fact actually get a fantastic light piping here at the back of the head and when you get some light shining through this honestly it's probably the best we've seen in a quite some time it really does bring this character to life here for the torso once again a little too blocky for my liking i do wish that they could have streamlined this slightly but i do know they have plans to in fact actually reuse this mold in the future so maybe if they would have made it just distinct for rc it would have compromised the actual reuse but you can see we do get some pretty decent and sculpt work going on here of course some nice metallic silver highlights there for the next section as well as here for the torso the arms once again slightly more blocky when in comparison to the prime design we've got a mixture of black and gunmetal grey as well as some really nice metallic silver highlights there for the actual cuff section you can see we've got one of her blades here which we'll take a look at in just a second but turning our attention down to the lower region I think the thighs look great as so do the shins but the wheels are just absolutely awful I really really don't like the way these look at all to me these definitely give me pre-war for Cybertron vibe and I have no idea as to why they couldn't have found a way to have in fact incorporated a hinge joint so that we could have swiveled these here and stored them away in the back of the legs much like that original prime design that is one area of which I really wish they stayed truthful to just as this just looks so bad especially considering that we've got a rather streamlined design here for the thigh as well as the shin and then you've just got this massive blocky wheel here on the side that is not looking the best to me and even the foot design to an extent I personally find to be slightly uninspired as we turn our attention here to the back of the figure in true prime RC fashion we do in fact actually get quite a big backpack but I don't think it's looking too bad you can see how we've got these fin sections here which of course are a direct carryover from that design and even the wheel here to an extent is also pretty accurate to that prime design now if you weren't completely sold on the actual design of this figure the articulation may just be able to sway your mind as she's probably one of the most articulated RC figures that we have ever seen so here for the head of course we get a ball joint which can look left to right to a fantastic degree as well as can also look up to probably some of the best I've seen on a main line deluxe she can also look down that far we do get a full rotation here at the shoulder which can go the full 360 hinge out to the side full rotation there at the bicep as well as a 90 degree bend there at the elbow surprisingly a full wrist rotation which is something that we don't tend to see on rc figures due to the slender nature of the forearm design so that's awesome here at the waist it is a little limited it is in fact on a ball joint due to transformation but the way they've designed it this section here does come over and does actually compromise that and if you push it too far it will pop that ball joint out which believe me is so such a pain to in fact actually tab in so we merely do just get a slight range of motion going left to right but we can crunch it back that far as well as can crunch it forwards the legs here can kick forwards that far which is fantastic as well as back all the way of course she can do the splits to I would say roughly that far full rotation here at the thigh as well as a 90 degree bend there at the knee and despite me not being a huge fan of the foot design it does in fact actually allow for a fantastic ankle rocker pivot which really does allow you to get this figure into some many dynamic poses so overall in terms of articulation quite honestly other than the waist I cannot fault it at all she's really really well engineered now in regards to accessories you can see we do get these semicircles as blades once again not looking the best I really wish they could have given us a slightly more prime inspired weapon but you can see completely cast out of transparent blue plastic I do believe this is the gimmick going forward for the legacy figures they're all supposed to come with these energon infused weapons if for whatever reason you didn't like them being blades we can of course remove them combine them to create an almost shield but it's very small and we can just attach this here onto the side of the arm we also do get a second accessory now I guess this is where some slight parts forming may come into play but essentially you just remove this entire front wheel here 
and we are supposed to split this section in half and to be honest I have no idea as to what this is supposed to resemble. Initially I thought that maybe it would be some type of drone, it definitely doesn't look like a blaster nor any type of sword weapon but you can see we've got some really nice metallic blue highlights in there but I do wish that they could have in fact actually given the budget to a proper handheld weapon of which was indeed painted as this to me is definitely a throwaway accessory and it can merely just be held via pegging into her arm to resemble something which looks along the lines of that. So definitely a drone in my opinion, not entirely sure as to where they were going with this. Turning here to some size comparisons, we have our new Legacy RC compared next to the APC Toys KO version of the first edition Prime RC. Exactly the same in terms of mold, it is merely just the color of which differs. And this is kind of where I can definitely see as to why maybe they didn't want to approach direct Transformers Prime designs, just as essentially they already gave us these perfect figures over a decade ago. So to try and in fact actually build upon what they already created, I just don't think it would have been possible. This Prime Prime RC was near dead on perfect and in all honesty I actually don't think they could have topped her especially with some of the materials that they're now using with modern day Transformers but there are some elements that I really wish they could have in fact actually taken over here for the legacy design most noticeably would be the way the legs actually transform I just think they look so much better here for the Prime RC design the way they in fact actually store within the back of the legs instead of of course just hanging out on the side and I know there may in fact be many of you out there who actually really like what they've done with this legacy Prime design I'd love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys think. Would have you preferred them to maybe approach a dead on screen accurate version of Prime RC or are you in fact like me definitely open to the idea of giving us these almost universe looks from different TV shows. Here we have the APC Toys first edition Optimus Prime. Once again a very very awesome figure. I definitely don't think they could have come nowhere near in fact to actually topping this but you can see in terms of scale pretty accurate to how we actually saw Prime RC compare next to Prime. So for those of you who do in fact actually want to display her with some of those original first edition figures I don't think she's going to look too out of place at all in terms of scale but of course in terms of design she is a major departure. And here for a more contemporary comparison we have her compared next to the Earthrise Optimus Prime and in regards to aesthetic yes definitely they really do look as if though they're from the same universe. So a really cool concept just one that I'm hoping we can see executed slightly better with their upcoming bulkhead. And finally here we have her compared next to the Kingdom's Earth Mode Sideswipe. So in regards to scale definitely on par with some of the modern updated deluxe figures. So, turning to transformation, despite the design coming across as fairly simplistic, the conversion is by far the complete polar opposite. Honestly, it's probably one of the most complex legacy figures that I've personally transformed so far, but that's definitely not a drawback at all. So here for the arms, you're going to want to take these sections here and just collapse them over the top of the fist. Of course, come to this side and repeat the same process. I then personally like to come here to the back and essentially just extend all of these joints here and rotate at this section so that it comes over the top of RC's head. We can then come here down to the lower region. You're going to want to take the foot and collapse this until it clicks into place over the top of the heel spur. So just snap that in there. We can then disengage at the knee joint and you can see here at the back we've got a slot that will peg here into this tab. So just snap that section in and of course come to this side and repeat the same process so just snap that section in. Now this is definitely where things can become a little convoluted so you're going to want to take this front skirt piece, pull this section forwards and push it through the legs and we're going to want to arch the back this way and then rotate at the ball joint so that the front is now facing the back and then essentially we're going to flip her. Now you can see at the moment she definitely is coming across as a jumbled mess but once you get the legs aligned things definitely become a little more cohesive so we're just going to want to tuck all of this like so, come to this side and of course repeat the same process. We can then take the wheel here, hinge this section out to the back and you can see how we've got various different tabs and slots on the interior that essentially you'll just want to align up with one another and just snap them in just like so. We can then come here to the shoulder, rotate at the bicep so that these tabs are now facing inwards and then just disengage here at this upper joint. Of course, extend this forwards and you can see how that will peg into there. And of course, this here will also peg in and then finally we can just slot the two halves together. Here for this entire section, to be honest, actually quite simplistic from here onwards. So you can see we've got two tabs here and here that will peg into this slot as well as this slot. Now to be honest, this one here more or less just rests in this place. It really is this bottom slot of which is essential to keeping everything together. So just align that section up and snap this here into place. Of course come to this side 
and repeat the same process, just snap that into place. And there we have the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Prime RC, fully transformed up into her pretty awesome bike mode. Honestly, I do find myself actually questioning whether or not to display her in bot mode or bike form, as this is definitely one of those alt forms that I've found to in fact actually rival the bot mode. And so taking a closer look here at RC in her vehicle mode, a really, really awesome looking bike mode. Honestly, it's quite rare to find, at least in my opinion, a vehicle mode of which can in fact actually rival the look of the robot mode and I think this figure here is a prime example of that pun intended you can see in particular would be the details that we've got going on towards the front so we've got those headlights of which have been sculpted really nicely as well as cast out of transparent blue plastic and I love the attention to detail of the actual indicator lights of which have been fully sculpted as well as painted that's such a neat touch you can see here for the front wheels we've got some excellent detail as well as paint and even as we turn here towards the top you can see there the handlebar the brake bar as well as those side view mirrors and they've even gone to the extra mile of sculpting in some dials such as the speedometer here at the top which once again is a really nice attention to detail here from a side perspective I think she does in fact actually compact and conceal pretty nicely of course as per tradition with these Prime RCs we get some hollow gaps but honestly definitely not looking too bad at all this is in fact complete transparent blue plastic of which has been painted over and I think the color match is pretty spot on to the cast blue that we've got going on here you can see towards the back wheel this actually has been sculpted as well as once again painted pretty nicely of course sadly you can see the fists but not looking too bad in all honesty and we do get the exhaust pipe of which is in fact a blast effect compatible so that's really cool and as we just take a look here towards this side once again overall painted and sculpted pretty nicely she does also have the kickstand of which you can deploy if you wish to in fact actually display her in this mode or you can of course actually hinge it up to allow her to roll along the ground with absolute ease I love the fact that this wheel here can in fact actually rotate it's super cool for posing and of course just making her look that much cooler when in fact actually having her on display and in regards to weapon storage we can take these energon infused blades and in fact essentially just either snap them here onto the rear or you can indeed actually peg them into these five millimeter ports of which out of the two methods I do in fact actually find to be the better look not perfect but once again definitely not bad by any stretch of the imagination comparison wise here we have the legacy RC once again compared next to that APC toys KO version of first edition RC not looking too bad in terms of scale either she's definitely a pretty decent sized deluxe and as we just turn here from a front perspective in my opinion the detail is leaps and bounds better here on this new legacy version I really do think they've gone all out in truly capturing the details and as we just turn here to the side I actually think she cleans up just as well if not slightly better than that prior first edition RC mold and here for a more contemporary comparison I've once again brought back out the Kingdom Earth mode deluxe sideswipe just so you can once again see how these two fare up in vehicle mode and so some final thoughts for this Transformers Legacy Prime inspired deluxe class RC really not as bad as I was expecting not great by any stretch of the imagination I still do think they could have in fact taken a little more inspiration from that Prime RC design in particular would be where the transformation of the legs is concerned I really just do not like the way the wheels do in fact just hang off to the side but other than that it's not a bad looking robot mode at all and of course it is in fact supposed to go along with this almost G1 inspired aesthetic of which I do find it to in fact actually do a really nice job in personally I'm just glad that we are in fact actually seeing some Transformers Prime inspired characters back out there on the market I think they had some of the coolest designs so it really would be quite nice to see how Hasbro could in fact actually reinterpret them in the G1 aesthetic I think that in regards to a face sculpt it looks pretty decent of course a little more simplistic when in comparison to her prime counterpart but other than the legs I really don't have many critiques in regards to the bot mode I think the articulation is fantastic it's definitely some of the best I've seen for a mainline RC figure in a very long time if ever in regards to accessories definitely rather lackluster I'm not a huge fan of those energon infused blades and the fact that you can split that wheel into some sort of drone just does not make any sense to me at all. I would have loved proper blades like we saw from the Prime show as well as an actual blaster. And in regards to transformation, definitely rather complex, but I think awesome transformation. Really, really distinctive to this particular mold and results in a very, very nice looking bike mode. So I honestly was expecting to absolutely bash this figure, but as it stands, I do find it to be a pretty decent deluxe. In my opinion, it is indeed a little better than the Legacy Skids, but not living up to the expectations set by the Legacy Drag Strip. I'd really love to know down in the comment section below on what you guys think of Hasbro giving some of these prime characters this almost universe look are you guys a fan of it would have you maybe like to have seen them just essentially give us the prime RC design had she appeared in the show once again I'm really looking forward to seeing as to how their legacy bulkhead turns out and I really do think that will be the defining factor for me as to whether or not these universe characters were a good idea I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below and of course until my next review I'll see you then thanks for watching